kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! In this video for Grade 8 Mathematics, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. So here are the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. Number 1, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Second, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate exterior angles are congruent. Third, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. And last, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Okay, so i-prove natin isa-isa ang bawat property. So simulan natin sa first property. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. So kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang lines and kinat siya ng isang transversal line which is the line L. So for the given, line A is parallel to line B, transversal L cuts A and B. So nagform siya ng angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, kailangan nating i-prove ng angle 2 ay congruent or katulad ng sukat ng angle 3. So, para mag-prove tayo, kailangan natin ng column para sa statements at para sa reasons. So, ang unang statement, pwede natin gamitin yung mga given. So, first statement, A is parallel to B. So, for the reason that is given. And then next, pwede natin ilagay dyan na angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 and then Base sa natutunan nyo sa iba-ibang um, uri ng angles, so ito po, or for the reason, pwede natin ilagay na vertical angle theorem. Dahil ang dalawang angles na vertical ay magkatulad ng sukat. Okay, next is, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, so ang sukat ng angle 1 ay congruent sa angle 3. And then dito na natin ilalagay yung reason na if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So kapag nag-cut ng um, ang transversal, kinat niya ang dalawang lines, so ang corresponding angles ay magkatulad ng sukat. So kapag sinabing corresponding angles, yung isang angle na exterior or nasa labas at yung isang angle na interior or angle na nasa loob, so magkatulad sila ng measurement. And then for the last statement, yung kailangan nating i-prove, so angle 2, is congruent to angle 3. And then for the reason, pwede nating ilagay dyan na transitive property. Or, pwede nating ilagay na alternate interior angles or congruent. Since iyon yung nakalagay sa ating um, given property. Again, since ang angle 2 at angle 3 ay nasa loob na angles, so sila ay tinatawag na interior angles. And then sila ay magkatapat or mag-alternate, so Pwede natin ilagay na reason dito is alternate interior angles are congruent. Second property, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate exterior angles are congruent. So we have the given line A is parallel to line B, transversal L cuts A and B. So we have to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. So maglagay tayo ng statements and reason. First statement, a is parallel to B and then for the reason that is given. And then pangalawang statement, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So angle 1 and angle 2. So vertical angle sila, meaning sa ating reason, pwede natin ilagay na vertical angle theorem or vertical angles are congruent. And then sa pangatlong statement, ilagay natin ang angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. And then sa reason, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So isang interior angle at isang exterior angle na nasa, magka, uh, nasa tulad na side, sila ay tinatawag na corresponding angles. So ang corresponding angles are congruent. And then for the last statement, yung kailangan natin i-prove, angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. And then, for the reason, pwede natin ilagay na transitive property or 
Since ang angle 1 at angle 4 ay parehong exterior angles or angle na nasa labas, and then magkatapat sila, meaning alternate sila, pwede natin ilagay na reason dito is alternate exterior angles are congruent. Third property, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So, we have to prove that angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. So, maglagay tayo ng statements and reasons. First statement, A is parallel to B and then the reason is given. Second is angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. So, kapag ang dalawang angle ay nasa tulad na side at sila ay magkasunod or magkatabi, therefore, sila ay magpo-form ng supplementary angles or for the reason that is linear pair postulate. Since ang 1 at 2 ay magkatabing angle sa tulad na side, so nag-form sila ng line or linear pair. Third statement, measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 2 or measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees and then for the reason that is the definition of supplementary angles. Fourth statement, angle 1 is equal to angle 3. And then for the reason that is the definition of congruent angles or definition of um, corresponding angles. And then, yung last is yung kailangan natin i-prove angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. So, ang angle 2 at angle 3, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa tulad silang side. And then, since sila ay magkasunod, meaning, nag-form sila ng straight line or supplementary. Therefore, para sa reason, this will become same side exterior or sorry, same side interior angles or supplementary. Fourth property, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So, kailangan nating i-prove ng angle 1 at angle 4 ay supplementary. So, ito yung 1 and angle 4. Okay, for the statement, first statement, A is parallel to B, so that is a given. And then, second statement, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. So, the reason is linear pair postulate since ang angle 2 at angle uh, angle 2 at angle 1 ay nag-form ng line or linear pair. And then, uh, pangatlong statement, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. And then, sa reason, that is definition of supplementary angles. And then, fourth statement, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. So, for the reason, that is the definition of congruent angles or definition of corresponding angles. And then, yung last is yung kailangan nating i-prove angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung angle 1 at angle 4 ay parehong exterior angles or angle na nasa labas. And then, since sila ay nasa tulad na side, pwede nating ilagay dyan sa reason, same side exterior angles are supplementary. So, let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. So, we have the given properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. Number one, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Second, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate exterior angles are congruent. Third, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. And the last, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!